Okay, guys. All right. <laughs> so welcome to Tea Time Tuesday. I hope I don't seem that far. Um, I am doing a little bit something different only because it really is hard uh, for me to take everything outside and um, the landlord just finished cutting the grass and everything like that and it's, it's a mess out there. Um, but uh, hi, my name is Emma and usually on Tea Time Tuesdays all I really do is try to drink a cup of tea with you guys and just let you know what books I am um, I am reading at the moment. Um, I think I did remember saying that I finally finished Exile for Dreamers. I finally finished it. I was like, God, I, that took forever. But that was my fault because I was kind of like lagging on it like all the time. One week I would, you know, um, especially more so, especially if you're trying to take notes. And it's not easy to take notes because you have to read and like underline everything that you're reading at the same time, then sit down, go back and, and write out what you underlined. And then you're trying to paraphrase everything that you just underlined or what you what you read. So um, that's why it took me quite a while to finish it. But uh, I have two more books that, that I'm, I'm gonna be reading. Right now I am reading, I think I've shown this one before, it's called Hannah's War. Now this one, I, I already started underlining uh, some paragraphs, but this one, I'm almost, I'm already almost, um, I'm already almost done with it. Like you can see, I'm like, almost like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm halfway there. Now, one thing about this book, Hannah's War, it's um, more, she's in America. She, Hannah's in America. And, and I'm, I'm kind of like trying to depict, what, is she German or is she Jewish? I'm not really sure which way her, and, um, her nationality is, but I think, I think she's Jewish. And she came from Germany she came to America with her her sister Sublime, and um, and she's she's a, like a scientist. So she goes to school. Well, she has this job, and they're constantly. Um, she works in a basement, so she works at this facility, but she's in a basement. And although it, it's kind of weird because I'm not really sure. If it is in America or if it's in Germany because she has a curfew so I guess the guy the detective because I think something happened and something went down I, I might have to go back and read the first couple of chapters but he's he's doing an investigation and he's investigating her and thinking that she was part of this plan that tried to do something to somebody. I mean, I don't remember if it was part of a war or, or what, but um, in any case, he's investigating her. So every time she like wants to go somewhere, like drink a cup of coffee or go to the store, she has to be careful what time she goes her and her her sister's sublime and then she has a curfew so she can't be out at a certain time so it kind of like makes me think that they're not in america jack is an american detective but and there's other german um people that she deals with because they're scientists as well uh, some women too and um, they talk about the Reich and um, you know uh, dealing with the um, theories and uh, 
trying to come up, come up with solutions and things like that. And, you know, like, um, not quotations, no, not quotations, but I forgot what it's called when you're trying to, you write out, you know, I forgot what it's called, and you're trying to figure it out. So that's what she does in the basement. And, you know, like I said, she has a curfew, so she can't be out all the time, you know, she has to be back in either at her place or in the basement at a certain time. But uh, right now, Jack is doing a lot of investigating. He kind of like, well, if you did this, and why, you know, why is this happened? Why do you have these photos? And then she does have these photos that, that are like from, you know, Germany. So I'm kind of like mixed. Okay, are, is she in America or is she in Germany? So that's what I got to find out. I got to find out where, really, where is she? Um, but that's where I am right now at, at this book. The only thing I don't like about this book is that it's frayed on the edges. Like, I don't, I don't know, because it's kind of like frayed. And I really don't like it because it's hard, it's hard to grab the pages because they're so frayed. It's not, it's not flush. It's not flush like this one. And every time I try to turn a page, I should have put more light on. Um, yeah, I can't, it's hard for me to grab the pages. But so far, I mean, it's okay. It's all right. But um, so far, I'm liking it. But it, I got a feeling I'm going to probably end up finishing, this, excuse me, this book in about another I say about at the end of the month that she be done with it. I mean, it's it's a fast. It's going to be a fast read. Um, the other one that I am, and I didn't bring glasses. The other one that I am looking forward to read is called um, Un Un Napoli Un Napoli in Love by Trisha R. Thomas. And I'm not really sure what this book is about. But it does say something about Venus is ecstatic about her husband's new career as a movie star, thanks to a role in a searing romantic drama with co-star co Serena Lassiter, Jake and Serena's relationship. Venus quickly learns, learns, goes back further, I can't see my glasses, I don't have my glasses, then Jake, further than Jake wants to admit, Venus isn't happy when the new it team hectic promotion schedules take them too far off location, while Venus must stay behind with the business to run and a daughter to raise. However, it's not long before Venus senses danger when she receives advice from her one time arch enemy, Travel Duval, the queen of a late night, the queen of late night. Evangelical TV, Venus in her trademark style decides to save her marriage by one, by any means necessary. But when the paparazzi get, get, get involved, all hell breaks loose. Will Venus be able to keep her man or has she lost Jake forever? So that's what we're gonna find out, which way that's gonna go. I'm also, um, Reading, let me see if I can put this baby on. Oh my god, anyway, I am drinking. What am I drinking? I am I, sometimes I really I never know which way to go with my books. I'm like, where's my book? Okay, that's the light. Like, where's my book? I can never find my library on this thing. Um, okay, library, home, 
So it says home, it doesn't go there. Okay, maybe I am home. Um, <laughs> hmm, hmm, Christmas, Main Street, Clear History. That wasn't the one I had. Okay, Okay, well I can't find my my what do you call it? Go it says home but it doesn't go there. I don't know why it does that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I go to my library and nothing happens. Go to settings new collection. Okay, recent I gotta figure this out guys. This drives me nuts. Okay. That's, that's the book. Wait a minute. It doesn't do anything. I could be here all day. Like, I don't know. This one is not what I wanted. This is for the light. Next to the... No, done. Okay, well, it was a story about um, something about the Duke's daughter trying to get get her hope. What is going on? Oh, you know, I'm just going to shut it off. Anyway, I am drinking um, a chamomile tea. That's what I'm drinking right now. It's really good. I still have to look into, you know, getting... different teas but I like chamomile because it's nice nice and soothing okay let me stack in okay swipe to unlock Kindle library nothing close okay Library, nothing's happening. Books. Okay. Where are they? I'm gonna be here all day. Even ants, good reads, Amazon, hide collection. I remember doing this the last time and I was like here like forever. I'm like, where are the books that I, you know, that I, what do you call it, read? All oh, settings. This is annoying. Amazon Kids, web browser, settings. It won't let me go home. Uh, Lee and Morgan. It's not what I. Okay, truth. Oh. Library. Life Um. From your library. Lee and Morgan. I know it's a pretty page too because it had um Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out, but it was about this gambling gambling for the Duke's daughter. So I don't know why it's not on there. I mean, I, I should be on there. I'm really upset now. I'm really upset. I should take a picture of it, right? I've got to figure out how come I can't find it. And it was the gamble, gambling of the Duke's daughter. Now, oh, here it is. Yeah, how come I don't have it? Okay, so 
that's the one I was on. It was the ga gambling on the Duke's daughter. Oh, there, there, now it goes on. So, um, this is, I don't know, it doesn't say, I'm on like 10%. Okay, so I already got it, and I had to, okay, so I got it, but I have the, you know, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can see it, but I have the book now, but I don't have the front cover. Anyway, that one was good. It got me already like the first chapter, so it got me excited. And now it's like, oh, I got to continue reading this, you know. But tonight, I need to figure out how to get to my home because it's annoying that I can't get, can't get back to it. You know, where it says all oh, your books and everything on there. I don't know why I can't get back can't get back to it but I am gonna try to to work on that on that tonight um so I'm trying to try to remember where I left off I mean I know where I left off but this one, I probably will have to, what do you call it, um, definitely might have to take uh, some notes on this. Because the Duke, I think he's Russian. Anyway, he's like a playboy. And what he does is like, he kind of like fools around with a lot of women. But this one Russian girl, um, she's like... She's not no one to be played with. And so him and his friends, they made like like a wager, like, oh well, I bet you you can't get this girl to fall in love with you. I can't I bet you can't get this girl to kiss you. And he's like, Yes I can, you know, like I've done it many times. This girl's no biggie. But little did he, he did doesn't know though well, he didn't know then that the girl that he was aiming for or the ones that they said oh we got somebody this girl and he's like oh easy peasy right but then when he finds out who it was he's like oh yeah 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 I'm not, I'm not going there <laughs> like never mind <laughs> so then she starts wonder because she saw him and she's like oh you know he looks handsome you know and but she also she also has an idea of what kind of man she wants and she was like, nah, he might be good looking and all that, but I really don't know his character, his personality, so I think I'm going to pass on this one. And then even if, you know, he was that cute, that, that doesn't matter. But then when he, like, they finally were introduced, and he, because he found out who she, who she really was, his intentions were like, forget it, I ain't doing nothing. And then she's like, wondering well I heard a lot about him and he thought he was all that how come he's not trying to you know do anything with me so now she's getting like upset <laughs> like is there something wrong with me <laughs> I don't look good well I'm not I'm not pleasing to him like what's going on here I guess she really I think she wanted him to so she could reject them and say oh no you didn't no you're not yeah, that's what you thought you were going to do. It didn't happen. But when she realizes that he's not doing anything, now she has like like a chip on her shoulder to say, like, huh? What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, so that's where I'm at right now with this one. So it's kind of like, it's kind of, it got me intrigued. And I, that's what I like about certain books. You know, they intrigue me. And I like to know, you know, how far are they willing to go or you know, to for them to end up, you know, with, with each other. This is the first time I saw time on this click. Every other time you're on this on this camera, every other time I never see the time on there, and this time it's on there. I'm like, really? See, I'm st I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out this camera. Um, but um, yeah. So that's where we are. I can't, I, I guess I can't wait to finish Hannah's War. I can't, I can't wait to, this one, 
my I don't know. Let's see. These pages are kind of 296. These kind of like are the same size. Yeah, they're about the same. Uh, yeah. So I got a feeling I'm going to end up reading both these like really quick. Exile for Dreamer was a little bit long. It was a little bit more of a thicker book. Um, I guess I re didn't really care for the stylist. Um, there was another one that I read. And it was almost more like a paperback. And that one I had gotten from Dollar Tree too. But there are all these books are from, are from Dollar Tree. They're all a dollar twenty-five. Um, the ones from Kindle, I get those um, free. Okay, guys. So that's it for now. It is hot in this kitchen, <laughs> so. I'm going to call it quits right now, and of course, because I'm drinking the tea, it's going to make it even more hotter. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you like my little table cover, and maybe I'll have a little bit more stuff on here, maybe some flowers, some dishes, or whatever, because I got a feeling I'm going to be doing it more here. I have more room, and I do have my little, little backdrop over there, <laughs> my little... Um, tear tray and a coffee cup back there but since i was trying to hurry, just hurry up and just do that this i'm like just let me hurry up i don't want to disappoint them let me get up there and let me have a cup of tea with with these guys <laughs> okay so like a christian to see so glad you caught me and i'll catch you in my next video bye